the streets. Welcome to pretty much the last day of Drift Week as far as uh, driving goes. So the last track day was uh, the Grange uh, Apple Valley Speedway uh, where Rudy's car unfortunately caught on fire. And um, right now we are heading to Irwindale Speedway to uh, the Hoonigans, the burn yard. And we're gonna go hang out there, uh, do some burnouts and stuff in the thing. So anyhow, we are headed to Irwindale Speedway. Ty, excited? I've never been there, it's gonna be cool, I think. I don't know how this many cars are gonna work, but we got Damien Carson. I don't think we've actually talked about you guys actually being in town. <laughs> yeah? Someone thought we were back in Colorado. Yeah, they did think we were back in Colorado. So, Jamie and Carson flew in about two or three days ago. I just can't kind of hang out with me. She's basically been kind of hanging out, um, you know, even before the trip, just because I was I was gone and so busy. So, uh, basically, I just had an urban dope. We're gonna go to the burn yard and see what this thing does. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it. So we are out here at Irwindale Speedway. We got Matt, what are you doing, Matt? Absolutely nothing. Are you ready for this? Yeah, what's this? I don't even know. He's doing nothing. Honestly, I don't, I don't even know either, but we're gonna figure it out. Uh, we got the Mustang out here. We got the front tires on it. We got the trailer unloaded. We've been hanging out for a little while. Aaron's been doing a really long interview with uh, with Luke Fink over there. If you guys haven't followed uh, uh, the Lone Star Drift channel, uh, they're gonna have a huge video of this whole process. But again, we are at Hoonigan, we are at the burn yard. If they do end up filming an episode with like my car or something that we're involved with, uh, it won't be on my channel for probably about two to three weeks until their video type of thing is. Uh, but if there is any other stuff that we can film today, that's gonna be it, or it's just gonna be us hanging around in the parking lot, talking crap to each other, and, uh, and that's it. Wicknick, how you doing? I haven't, I haven't got Yo, any Wicknick. Oh, no Wicknick footy? No Wicknick footy, how you oh, doing Oh man, today? good. All we had to do is wake up a little bit late and watch the car. That was it, just that a was little it. late. Just a little late, wash the car, wax it, and drive here. So we're, we're doing good. Welcome to the track. Yeah. Mark, can you have my e brake flood again? Just to make sure it works so it doesn't successful. do that again. Successful. No His trip was successful. There Fielding Shredder. Hi right, guys, so uh, we figured out what is going to happen for the, for the episode. So we're basically going to do a team tandem competition. Uh, so there's four drivers on my team. Four drivers on it. Basically, there's three teams of four, and because there's 12 drivers, uh, so we're all gonna go out and do a single uh, like warm-up lap in each car, uh, just to feel it out, like get a feel for the track, and then we're basically gonna hop right into a team tandem comp. So uh, it's me fielding uh, Axel in the the red Corvette. Uh, he's the guy who blew up his engine the other day, and then we have Mesker over there. So I'm gonna be leading. Uh, we're gonna film my first run. And then the, the team tandem competition is going to be in the Hoonigan episode that should be coming out on Wednesday or within a week or something like that. So uh, just trying to basically give them some content too uh, without like sacrificing all my content too. So we basically, we both have videos. So uh, we're here hanging out with everybody and uh, we're getting ready to go on track. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty stoked to see what this freaking Mustang will do. It barely fits under the, the little trailer thing over there. So I guess we'll see. Good. Yeah, you're... Yeah, you ain't gonna clear that. The problem is, too, if the trailer bounces at all from whoever's up there... It. You can clear it. So if anything, you're gonna have to nose in. You'll have to get the nose. Nervous? What? what do you think? Wait a little bit. We're doing four, four car tandem train through here, and I'm leading it, so... I guess Just we'll stay see. stay on power. Yeah, that's what I said. I said I'm probably, I'm probably better off in the beginning, like feeling it out, Same like here to see it.
my guys, we just did our team tandem submission. Building, what do you think? That was amazing, dude. Good lead. That man. was crazy. Nice. Woo! That was crazy. So, building it just a little bit right here. Put the tires. I barely, barely, barely gave the, the tires a kiss with my car. Man, it's so. That's it. That's all we got right there. So, that's pretty good. Uh, JTP, so this is the angle kit that I have on my car. He showed up over here just as soon as we're getting ready to pull out. Axel was in the center. You can see he got the damage on his car. And then uh, Mesker was uh, basically third in the train. Axel was behind him. So we did pretty good. Um, you guys are going to have to check that out on the Hoonigan channel. Should be in a couple days. But uh, man, super fun. We're going to watch some of the other runs now. Easily the best thing I've seen at the Burnyard today. Really? Wow, that's just special. That feels incredible. God. That makes me feel really special. Yeah. So you guys are gonna have to check it out on the Hoonigan channel. How soon? Yeah. Um, Wednesday. So I don't know what day this comes out, but yeah. Wednesday is what we're planning for. So three days. Dude, all that right. was such a sick run. Dude, I love that was it. so much we fun. We don't even turn around videos <laughs> that fast all the time, but this is something that needs to get seen. Yeah, I guess. you gotta capitalize <laughs> on this week, man. Yeah, holy shit. Well, you guys heard it. You guys are gonna have to go check it out on the Hoonigan channel. Uh, we're gonna watch some of the other runs now, so I'm Alright, let's go. do it. If you got video, you can give them a little sneak. Oh, we'll give them a yeah, sneak. Yeah, you can give them a little sneak. But if they want to see the full thing, yeah, they, gotta come, go see, yeah. they gotta go see the edit. Dude, that was insane. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I can't believe uh, can't even. Drift Week, our very first Drift Week 2020. This is the trophy. Uh, this whole event was nothing about challenges or trophies or anything like that. It was all about camaraderie, being together, going on a trip with best friends and kumbaya stuff. Uh, we had a fantastic time. We traveled, I think, seven tracks with 13 pe 14 people because we left Mesker off the shirt. There's actually 14 of us. Um, where else? We did four states of driving, but for everyone to get here, some of them flew from other continents. We had Japan come. We had uh, Florida come, that's its whole own country. Uh, <laughs> Australia, uh, we had an Australian, France. or yeah, France. Uh, where else? Europe, Portugal. which France, Europe. France, Portugal. Atlanta. Uh, yeah, France in Europe. Yeah, no. I'm real tired though. No. Uh, so anyways, we had a ton of people come from all over the world. This was an amazing trip. We covered a ton of ground. We had a really good time. We did a lot of tracks and this is the end, the winner the car that won the most challenges came out unscathed was some of the challengers were such as the drivers picked this as their favorite car. Um, what else did he win? He won a bunch of stuff. Anyways, <laughs> trophy goes to All right guys, so what a day here at uh, the Hoonigan Burnyard. I really, really appreciate them having me out here. And uh, again, go check out their video. They actually did a full uh, like build breakdown feature of my car specifically here at the Burnyard, which was super sick. And uh, super awesome, or super cool to be able to drive with Justin Pollock too. Uh, obviously, uh, FD driver, been driving Mustangs for a long, long time. Uh, so it was cool hopping out there with him, uh, doing some donuts, doing some other things. And uh, yeah. If you, guys, uh, if you guys haven't seen their video or if it's not out yet, um, go check it out. Leave a comment. Tell them uh, some freaking Motion Auto. Tell them you're on Team Motion Auto, something like that. Uh, but I think that's pretty much it for our uh, our whole Drift Week wrap up. Uh, other than this, we, we basically, we're in Los Angeles right now, like down by Long Beach, and uh, we basically need to just drive home. So we have one or two more days kind of hanging out here in this area. Uh, Jamie and Carson are flying home uh, basically tomorrow and uh, we got to hook up the trailer swap some tires do some other stuff and then uh, we are actually headed back to Colorado and uh, Luke what did you think of the burn yard it was pretty sick hey eh? I liked it did you like it I liked it yeah yeah you got to do a couple extra skids there I got to take my kids and do skids so yeah. that was good yeah um, yeah I definitely want to come here with one of my big dick cars yeah 
I want to come down to Australia and come drive at your track. I've already told you. I come hang room. out with you guys. I got a room there. You're welcome. I got spare cars. Yeah, good. Well, and then Carson has new friends too. Your children, obviously. Oh, absolutely. So she's been having a blast hanging yeah. out with them and playing. And yeah. she was touchy at first, yeah. but now she's like, oh, oh yeah. Right. yeah she, she, these she's Australians pretty... are all right. <laughs> <laughs> these Finks are all right. Yeah. So, but my car held together. I know. Dude. We got a drift week. It got, it got a trailer, little trailer burn out there. Yeah. I've been waiting for that all trip. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I want one like getting on the highway like third gear, but not with low pressures and big tires. You yeah. need to put like some 215s on the back of that thing and roast them like 90 psi 215s yeah. and give it a big like burning onto the highway. I'm down for that. That thing's sick. I and think props need... to you for making that thing work the whole time. Yeah. Like that's ridiculous. When I heard about someone like. Okay. All right, someone's gonna be chucking a 2J and a Supra, like you were finishing it just before we leave. It's like, this guy's dumb. <laughs> and like confirmed, he's silly, very silly, but you made it work. So that's- And it made it interesting Massive too. props for you. Oh, dude, so it's just like, cool. As you know, it, it, this whole trip wouldn't have been like as fun without the ups and downs and then especially the people, you know? Yeah, that's all it was for me. Again, all the people meeting you guys, meeting everybody here, like there wasn't a bad person. Everyone was awesome. Um, I just had a sick time. Yeah. Wanna get an outro with Justin quick? He's like driving out. Yeah. Thanks, man. Take a look at Justin's car. Super dirty. See, this is what they're meant to look like. It's probably more. Than, I forgot what's actually. It's under probably the more than what they're meant to look like. Oh, that's oh kind wow. Of... Hey, look. We both have one of these, and not. <laughs> Other than that. Super Chacha! Oh, it's still freaking hot. <laughs> yeah. It's a really hot Super Chacha. Dude, this thing's loud. It is loud. It's it is. so loud. It's got some yeah. Roush long tubes. Uh, you know, California compliant catalytic and straight pipe. I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> Dude, this thing's sick. So this is kind of a concept car? Uh, yeah, so this is a prototype P51 build from Roush. Uh, they actually ended up building 51 of these as a limited production run, but this was like the, the prototype build. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of unique. Is that a um, unique front bar? That thing's sick. This? The, front, the whole front bar? That's, that's so that's a, that's a Roush front bar. Yeah, so this is the same exact angle kit that's on, uh, on my car. Obviously, he makes it, so. Yeah, obviously that's the like right yeah. I want to go for a ride in this thing. So this is, a, so initially, like, there's no denying that that's good. Like, I just didn't have that. I had the Eco Auto. No, it, I mean, for what you start, started with, like, totally makes sense, like, why you did that swap. Like, you can't do much with an Eco Auto. Mm -hmm. If you had an Eco Manual, maybe, yeah. but it's, it's still hard to get, like, big power out of those. I yeah, mean, you really have to build those motors and to handle. And the car's so heavy, too. Yeah. That, you know. I mean, that, the Eco Boost is more, like, in a smaller platform, like an RS or an ST, I think it's a much better performance package. Yeah. But in a bigger car like a Mustang, it, you know, I mean, that's why they have V8s. Yeah. No, and, and so initially the whole plan was to like buy one of these, but I was like, why do I need to buy one of these when I have this and a 2J? And that was always the plan for it, but I am uh, I want to experience this. So, oh, thank you, though. We need to go for a ride or something. Uh, I, well, my tires are all gone, but uh, yeah, eventually we will. <laughs> <laughs> we will. We should. We should, definitely. Yeah, for sure. But uh, again, this is uh, JTP's angle kit on my car. And it matches your car, the same silver and everything. So. Yeah, man. No, it's, it looks like you're getting great angle. Like, I'm oh yeah, it's stoked. insane. Like it's it's crazy. Like how much angle and like it should have came like that from the factory, I think. Yeah, but like <laughs> there was there were some tracks where I was like luck. backing it in, and I just like thought it was gonna come around, and it was just like nope, just. And that's right just a street it. kit. That's not even the competition yeah. kit. You can probably get about like 10, 10 or so more degrees of angle. Dude, I don't think it needs it honestly, but like it's, it, it's it, sick. It, it never hurts. Yeah. So, well, sweet driving with you today, man. Yeah, man, you too. And, uh, yeah, all right. So we are uh, we are now in packing up to drive back to Colorado mode. So we're basically swapping on all season tires all the way around, uh, just in case we run into any snow or rain or anything like that. That's, I have these Nankings for that. Uh, so we already have two that we've been running on on the front basically this whole time. Uh, so we're gonna pull these off, and uh, it's crazy. Look, I still got plenty of tires. We've oh, been running those massive burn ones. Yeah, so we've been running the the Bellinos basically this whole trip. Other than the first like one or two sets of tires were the the Nan Kings, uh, which is kind of what I, I order just because they're they're easy to get. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're basically just gonna load up and uh, get ready to go. Hang out here in Cali for a couple other days. And is it hot? A little bit. It's probably really hot. All right, guys. So that's pretty much a wrap. I've said that a bunch of times. Uh, trailers all loaded up. We tend to do so much stuff on here.
as we possibly could. We got a really loud Cummins cruising out of here. That's uh, Van Schellenbeck. He unfortunately did not get his uh, BMW done in time for the trip, but he's getting pretty close. I think he's gonna drive some tracks on the way out. But we're all loaded up. There you go. It's a good day. It was a, I mean, that was a really good day. Successful day. We didn't even kill a whole set of tires. But uh, we're gonna get on the road, gonna go eat with everybody. Uh, there's a couple cars on the trailer just because some people aren't driving them back. Uh, we have some extra wheels and tires on the trailer because we had to pull out our wheels and tires out of the support trailer. And uh, and then we have Mesker's wheels too. So we have four Mesker's wheels and we have six brand new tires on the trailer as well as everything that we started with. So yeah, we're gonna go to the burger place.